<laughs> uh, good evening, morning, afternoon. <laughs> it's eleven eleven p.m. on uh, when Wednesday night. Yeah, it's Wednesday night, and this is the video for Thursday, the twenty-first of November. And uh, I didn't write much of a blurb this time, and to be honest with you, I wasn't even sure exactly what topic to choose. And I quickly uh, wrote one down and came up with something really, really fast. The title is, What If the Scales Fell From Our Eyes? Is there a way to speed up the awakening process for impatient people like me? Sometimes it seems people just take way too long to wake up. What if the scales could simply fall from our eyes, allowing us to see in a way we could not do before? Is that even possible? <sighs> I had a phone conversation with a friend this afternoon, and one of the things that he mentioned to me was that he wishes we could all learn to get on the same page and and cooperate with each other. He he mentioned that he was married to a uh, a Jewish lady at one point in his life. He's not anymore that married to that same lady. But one thing that she told him was that the Jewish people stick to their game plan. They they stay on course, no matter what happens. They stay on course, and. He said that the reason so many of our political leaders uh, have so much trouble uh, getting in trouble with drugs and sex and stuff like that is because they're doing something unnatural, but they stay on course. And when he says Jewish people, he's referring in, in I didn't really question him on this, but he was referring to the Illuminati, to the people that, that hold the positions of, quote, power and authority and control in government and in corporations and stuff like that. And uh, I posted a thing of one of the Republican congressmen who passed a bill to allow the government to state governments to test people for drugs and then he gets arrested for cocaine. Why do they do this? I mean, what's going on? And he said it's because they're doing something that goes against human nature, but they stick to their game plan. And he said if, if the freedom fighters, the people that are waking up, would only stop fighting each other. How much time is spent criticizing each other and fighting each other? Now, I know I've talked about this before. Getting on the same page is certainly a challenge. And waking some people up is is nigh impossible. I mean, let's face it, and this is a question that I ask myself, people are ignorant, but why are they ignorant? Is it because humans are naturally stupid? I don't really believe that. I honestly believe that we have been brainwashed and programmed to be the way we are. There's been a literal dumbing down. That everything is in our culture, in Western culture, is geared to making us fall asleep. Of course, in third world countries where they don't have the some of the TV and some of the other brainwashed things, they just they keep them in a place of, of survival mode all the time. And people don't have a chance to even exercise their creativity as it could be if if they weren't hungry and if they didn't if they had a stable place to uh to live and clean surroundings and clean water to drink and and you know there's so many things in our world that are just geared to keeping us from waking up and i don't really believe that humans are stupid i don't really believe that that we're ignorant I do believe, as I said, we've been programmed. So what's it going to take? What's it going to take to take the scales from our eyes and allow us to see the importance even 
of loving each other, of cooperating, of getting on board with something that makes sense and moves us in a direction that will say no to the government. I, it, I also, that's something else that I, I watched today a, a video, I don't remember if somebody, who sent it to me, but anyway, it was an alien lands and wanted to know the status of human beings and it was all about government. And, and governments don't, we don't, people don't like governments, but we continue to put people in charge of government, but we're in charge of government, you know, we're in charge of the government, but we put people in that don't do what we want them to do, but we're in charge. And yet they tell us that if we don't do what they want us to do, they're going to punish us. So who's really in charge? I mean, there's so much insanity going on, and it's programmed insanity. What's it going to take to take the scales from our eyes and help us to see? Is it going to take some kind of a miracle? Are the people that believe in leaping a chasm, are they partially right? I, I still think there's going to be a, needs to be a process, there needs to be a bridge, but is there a moment in time when all of a sudden humanity wakes up, is it this comet Ison or something like that, which is moving closer and closer to us? Looking, looks I saw a video on that. It looks like the Phoenix, a Phoenix. It, uh, and, and there's all sorts of interesting things going on, and some predictions and and stuff like this. But what's it going to take? What's it going to take for people to all of a sudden? get it. And what is it that we're supposed to get? I think it's important that we get the craziness of our culture, the craziness of governments, the craziness of corporations, the craziness of our courts, the craziness of, of our financial system, the craziness of everything that goes on in the world. We have to get that. We also have to get the wonderfulness of us. And that's what I think has to happen. We have to see the soul. We have to have the human soul and its infinite beauty and its infinite creativity and its infinite powers revealed to us so that all of a sudden we realize, hey, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And we are powerful beyond measure. We really are the ones that gives the government its authority. And if they're not doing what we want, we have the power to stop their crazy, insane behavior. But we don't believe we do, and therefore we don't. So what's it going to take? What's it going to take for the scales to fall from our eyes and allow us to see clearly for the first time in a long time and finally get together and say to the people that, that don't want to get together, that don't want us to get together and say to, take, say to them, stop it, enough. We've had enough. What's it going to take? I mentioned the other day the importance of stating our intent. My intent, put very simply, is to have peace on earth, to have a repurposed system repurposed systems in our world where people actually cooperate. That's my intent. How can we get there? How can we get there? I can't snap my fingers and make it happen. If I could, I would. I listen to a lot of people and Karen Hooters and Heather and a whole bunch of other people that are saying things that are important to be said. And yet, some of the people that are saying the things keep getting put in this confrontational point of view, trying to crit, having to, being asked to criticize somebody else. I don't want to criticize anybody else. I just want us to get it. I just want us to love one another. Am I too much of a dreamer? Is what I want too difficult for us? 
can we not get the divine help that we need to recognize the in, infinite and very important essential power that is ours the power to see clearly let the scales fall from our eyes let our hearts be opened our minds be opened and let us see let us see ourselves as he as being one with each other it's such a hard thing in a polarized world of mind control what's it going to take to level the playing field to end the nonsense these are things that have been on my mind for a long time and I ask you please to pray to whatever you call God to whatever you call Creator and ask for the divine grace to open our eyes so that we can see thank you for listening namaste